Hello, everybody, and welcome to a calculus proof. Today, we will be proving that the average of the left and right Riemann sums is equal to the trapezoidal sum of a function. So if you look to the left, I've drawn a function that I've called f. I've shown that it's continuous over the interval from which we could call a to b, where a is the left-hand point and b is the rightmost point. OK, so if I were to take the left Riemann sum of this, and if I were to use n rectangles whose areas I would then proceed to add up, then the formula for that, or the expression for that, would be 1 over n, where n is the number of rectangles, or n is the number of uh, intervals that you're adding together, times the expression f of a plus f of a plus 1 continued all the way up to f of b minus 1. So one less than the unit at which you're terminating the function. And then if I were to take the right Riemann sum, it would just be the same formula with all the x values shift, shifted up one unit. So this would be 1 over n times, instead of f of a, it would be f of a plus 1 plus f of a plus 2, all the way up to, instead of b minus 1, it would be f of b and close that expression. And you should probably notice right now that these terms match up. So as we could see, because this sequence continues on for how, however many rectangles you're adding up, then there will be terms that are common to both the left and, Riemann, uh, left and right Riemann sums. OK, so what would happen if I were to take the average of the left and right Riemann sums? Well, both of these expressions are being multiplied by 1 over n. So that's almost like they have a common denominator of n. So if I were to add these together with a common denominator, then I would get f of a. And then I have 2 f of a plus 1. So there would be one here and then another here. So that would be f of a plus 2 f of a plus 1. And then because this sequence keeps carrying on, and there's an f of a plus 2 here, and obviously x is equal to a plus 2 is less than x is equal to b minus 1, then there would be two f of a plus 2 terms. So this would carry on. So it would be f of a plus 2 times f of a plus 1 plus 2 times f of a plus 2. And this sum would carry up until f of b, because f of b is only common to the right Riemann sum. It's not included in the sequence that carries out through the left Riemann sum. It's f of b. Okay, and then this all has a common denominator now of n. And then to take the average of this, once I've added them together, I would simply divide by how many sums I added up, which would be 2 in this case. I added up the left and right Riemann sum, so I'd multiply this by a half. Okay, so then if I were to rewrite this, multiplying 1 half times 1 over n, I would get 1 over 2n times f of a plus 2 times f of a plus 1 plus 2 times f of a plus 2, continuing up all the way to f of b. And I would close this expression. And as you've probably noticed, this is the formula for the trapezoidal sum. So I have now proven that the average of the left and right Riemann sums is equal to the trapezoidal sum of a continuous function. Drop a like or a comment on this video if it helped you out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.